This Saturday, as the boxing calendar starts to heat up once again, we'll get a closer look at two of the major players in the now wide open heavyweight division. Both Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury will be in action live on pay-per-view across the United States in a Fight Network presentation. Now, for those of you in Canada who subscribe to Fight Network, you'll be able to catch it for free. Chisora will take on the enigmatic Kevin Johnson in a 12-round bout for a pair of minor WBO and WBA titles. Delboy garnered a lot of momentum after his gutsy effort against Vitaly Klitschko, but saw it fizzle away after a crushing loss at the hands of David Hay in 2012. At the time, most assumed that Chisora had hit his ceiling, but after four straight TKL wins in 2013, he has a real opportunity to challenge for a world title again. Unfortunately, he won't be able to simply steamroll Johnson the way he did his mostly modest competition last year. Johnson is nothing if not tricky to look good against, oftentimes to his own detriment. Johnson seemingly has the skills to be a top flight heavyweight. Good defensive instincts, a quick jab, and a sharp right hand. However, he's never shown any urgency or willingness to take risks. It's as if he thinks that a lack of action is winning him rounds, and he just forgets to throw punches. Nonetheless, Johnson will be a litmus test for Tesora. One of Del Boy's main criticisms throughout his career has been his fitness, and there's a very good chance that Johnson takes him into deep waters. And though there is the chance that Johnson finally puts it all together, really this is a look at how fit and motivated Chisora is to take advantage of the open division he has around him. In the co-feature, Tyson Fury will have an opponent that is anything but a pacifist in Joey Abel. Fury is returning after a near 11-month layoff and attempting to ignore the distraction of an arsonist burning his house and his cars just the other day. Abel is an all-or-nothing brawler who has been stopped in his steps up in competition. He did manage to score a knockdown over top five heavyweight Kubrat Pulev in his last outing, but was stopped minutes afterward. The matchup is a perfect one for Fury, who, despite some surprising boxing skills, still has the instincts of a bare-fisted fighter. But there has been some criticism about the quality of Abel as an opponent. However, Fury has managed to make fights with opponents at Abel's level or much worse quite interesting in the past. And not to mention, Fury was jerked around by David Hay for months before the fight was finally canceled for good. And after calling out everyone from Jack Dempsey to Vladimir Klitschko, he had to get back in the ring and fight someone. Now, assuming Chisora and Fury are both victorious, there is the suggestion that the two could face off for a second time. These suggestions are more so from Chisora's camp, as Fury would prefer to face the winner of Chris Ariola and Berman Stavern for the WBC title. Chisora would love to go that route as well, but he'd realistically need to beat someone like Fury in order to get that chance. The assumption amongst many is that Fury has improved since their 2011 fight, while Chisora has either regressed or leveled off. On Saturday, we'll get another look at where these two are at and potentially where they'll be going.